Hello YouTube, Sidekick here. Welcome to the Iron Bombs range, or as I hope it'll become your home on the range. Uh, this is a mission that we're releasing because a few people have asked uh, for me to uh, release the mission that uh, contained this range that I've used in several other videos. So we've fixed it up a little bit and, um, and here it is for you. You're taking a look here at the first of the two ranges. It has uh, one 50 meter target uh, in the middle after a 750 meter run in. This uh, second range has three uh, 30 meter targets uh, with a shorter run in. Uh, there's a couple other features that we've implemented in the range that we'll talk about uh, as we go through a sample mission here. Uh, the first of which is that we have instituted Siri Bob's uh, range script. Um, in order to make that work, uh, you'll have to remember to, uh, when you first come in, to uh, select the observer slot, and then once the range script loads, and, and it will give you a message, then you, uh, then you can select one of the aircraft spots. So you can see in this mission, we're flying in an A4 Skyhawk. There are uh, three different kinds of airplanes you can choose from in the, the mission as it's written. You can choose to fly the A4, the Harrier, or the A10C Mark II. Um, you can start uh, any of those either in the air or on the runway. So you can see we're getting fenced in and uh, getting down because the uh, one of the other features that we've implemented in uh, this mission is something I call the SAM exclusion zone. Um, and that is that if you want to, through the uh, comms menu and the F10 option, you can uh, set it up such that if you are within 10 miles of the range and you get above 500 feet, um, the mission will only give you 60 seconds more of playtime until you get back below 500 feet. So uh, that's just to, if you want to, to kind of recreate the condition where you have to fly a low level because maybe there's a, a SAM network that you're trying to stay away from. So if, if that's of interest to you, then you can uh, you can turn that on in the comms menu and then use that when you practice things like the tactical pop-up that we have talked about in other videos. So that's what we're going to do first here in, uh, in the scooter. Uh, we're going to take a look at uh, a tactical pop-up. We're going to drop all of the Mark 82s that are on the center pylon. Um, all three of the aircraft types come with uh, slick bombs, usually Mark 82s, and uh, cluster bombs. So you can try either one of those um, without changing uh, the loadouts in the mission editor. Uh, the hog also comes with a couple of mavericks in case you want to do some sniping as well. Of course, you can always edit uh, the mission file in the mission editor if you want different loadouts or different liveries. Okay, you can see now we've gotten uh, within 10 nautical miles of the target area, and so uh, the script is starting to monitor our altitude. Uh, every time we go above 500 feet, well, it's actually 175 meters because of the way the script works, so we give you a, a little bit of extra margin. But every time you get above the minimum altitude, it will send you a note saying you have 60 seconds, and then it will count down in 15 second increments. Uh, if you go back below uh, the minimum altitude, it will reset the timer for you. So if you take a look at this, you can see that we are uh, set up. Uh, we also um, have put a, a smoke mark at the end of the range just uh, to help with, uh, with the, you know, getting yourself lined up. Uh, if you don't like the smoke mark, you can always take it out in the mission editor. Um, all right, so here we go doing a tactical pop-up in the scooter. So at four nautical miles, we pull up at 30 degrees. And we're going to roll out over the top at around two nautical miles. At a close to 6,000 feet. There we go. And over the top. And that's a good uh, view of the range. Upside down, but a good view of the range. So we're going to roll in on the big target. And we're going to try and uh, pickle all those six bombs right into the middle of the big circle right there. And the range script tells us how we did, so that's good. And then we have to remember to get back down under 500 feet to make sure that uh, we don't get, uh, get terminated here. So the other thing to notice about the, uh, the ranges is they do all have some vehicles in them. 
Uh, the first range has a number of vehicles scattered around the open area, and they're, they're actually a random collection of vehicles to some extent. There will always be a couple of shilkas, uh, the idea being that if you want to do a kind of mission with the uh, AUG, where you do kind of a uh, uh, snipe and chase kind of situation where you take out the air defense assets and then come in uh, closer for the rest of the targets or for the center target, you can do that. Um, each of the three small targets has uh, vehicles grouped around them. The first target has artillery vehicles, the second one has uh, infantry fighting vehicles, and the third one has tanks. And the idea there is that you can, uh, you can try various bombing techniques and maybe even different kinds of munitions like the cluster bombs to see what effects they have on the different kinds of vehicles. So that's how the range is set up. Uh, of course, you can always modify it in the mission editor if you want to. Uh, but right out of the box, those are the kinds of things that you should be able to do. So there should be lots of different things you can try with the Harrier and with the Scooter and the Hog. Um, as I said, the you know I use it for, and the intent is for it to be a, a bombing range where you basically are trying out some iron bombing techniques with unguided weapons, because that's what I like to do, but obviously you can use it any way you like. Okay, we're getting set, uh, set up for our second run in here. Um, this time... We're going to use the rock eyes, and we're going to try the loft bombing technique uh, that I have showed in a previous video. So we're going to do this uh, completely off the HSI being driven by the nav computer. So take a look at the HSI there, um, and we're going to count it down until we get down to a range of about one. And then we're going to pull up, count to three, press the pickle button, and try to throw our rock eyes uh, over that uh, center target. So theory at least. Let's see how it works this time. Okay, so we got to keep nice and lined up. Watch it count down. And about one, two, three. And rock eyes fired just almost as soon as you drop. But let's see where the sub munitions end up. Okay. We were a little bit long on that one, but hey, it's the range. That's what we're here for. All right. Well, that's a sample mission flown here on the Iron Bombs range on the shores of the beautiful Persian Gulf uh, in our A4 Skyhawk. I hope that you get some use out of the mission. Please subscribe to the channel to keep this stuff uh, coming. And uh, for now, this is Sidekick, signing off.